After noticing quite a few limitations of my current extractor, which is one you can see, it's the Canvac twin motor uh, vacuum type, uh, I decided to upgrade to something a little bit more able to uh, cope with the amount of waste that I'm producing. The bit of the system that I have here is, uh, as you can just see, see the top of it there, there we go. Um, it's the Cyclone, it's a dust deputy type 1 onto a water butt that I had. Um, one of the big limitations is it was only 100ml. So things got choked up quite quickly and a white piece which goes off onto my plane thicknesser and then a blast gate onto my saw with the obligatory cup of tea on top of it. And this is the one that I'm replacing it with. It's a Axminster trade variation. It's the high volume low pressure canister type which filters down to I think one micron. And this is where I've got to try and fit it all into. Yeah. This should be fun. That's just a bit of a boring part, it's just me taking things to bits. Uh, um, I decided to put this on the wall because my workshop is only 25 square metres, which uh, is about 5 metres by 5 metres um, big, so there's not a lot of space in there, so everything is at a premium. I've got a lot of stuff in there. Um, it kind of just expanded from just a couple of hand tools into like the workshop that I have now. Um, so I'm putting it up on the wall.
Right, so after all that, uh, this is what I have now. Um, you see a wall mounted on two brackets, the canister just so fit in the top. Uh, held on with um, clamps at the minute, but I will uh, rearrange that. See the cyclone's been fully utilised. I've managed to get in 150mm ducting with one blasket on a white piece. That'll go down to my plane of thicknesser. That's roughly where that lives. And um, and I will get another blasket on there because I want to be able to uh, cut off the uh, the saw as and when required. And that just disappears around the back. We have now is function test time just to see if it all works. This is just a big bag of workshop crap that pretty much everybody will have um, just to see how, how it works and see how the cyclone works and then I can just leak check it as well it's a bit of an unfair test really because really I've just thrown that right in there and you have to be a hell of a size machine to produce that much um, debris in one go it's a bit unfair but it just shows the suction and bear in mind that this is sucking from two machines at once because I don't have a blasket at this minute for the saw so this is taking uh, half the uh, suction and that has just gone pretty pretty quickly so I'm really quite pleased with that oh, a bit of tape off, off the foot as well And you can just about see there in the bottom corner of the bag, there we go, there's a bit of a better view, uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of dust and debris, that's because of the uh, how quickly I just threw the end of the uh, the hose straight into the uh, straight into the pile of uh, sawdust. That wouldn't normally happen, uh, so it does overwhelm the, the cyclone a little bit, but in normal everyday use that would never happen. That concludes this, and I'm really quite pleased with that so far, I think it was a pretty good purchase.